at the Final Four, a friend of the program who was tied to the Villanova program uh-huh. told me, mentioned to me, he said Jay Wright might leave. He might retire. And Tate knew this one, too. No, 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 no. And it was so far-fetched in my mind, I never even said anything about it. Because I was like, that is ridiculous. Jay Wright is the king of the mountain. Yeah. And there's no way that he's going to leave college basketball in a year that Coach K is leaving. Because it's no doubt about it. He like would the be. The path is like yes, opening up for exactly. Jay Wright to now dominate the sport. Exactly. With, with Coach K out of in the another way. In another final four. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's gone. So what you, when it became official and he did the the, the news was official. Told you I said so the, the, what I got. The, the, <laughs> it was funny because my dad says Jay Wright. I go I go get on Twitter and it was like a a, a mixture of uh it, it was like he's Shock. considering no no oh, it was like before at the it was start. like yeah, yeah, yeah. at the start it was like <laughs> breaking news Jay Wright is considering the idea of maybe retiring and I was like oh but first of all they're not going to put that out there unless he's probably retiring yeah but um I I, I found the language interesting and it was like he's considering whatever and i was like well, i don't know maybe he'll have a change of heart maybe it's like coach k with the lakers he was considering it mm-hmm. he, he really thought about it and then ultimately he got talked out of it i mean there's so, rumors that the hornets are thinking about coach k <laughs> stop it uh so <laughs> stop. <laughs> can we can we put, can, can we please stop okay stop it. okay back to, Jay Ray. back to Jay Ray. <laughs> um I, d- d- don't don't do this to me um so I, I thought, like, at first I was like, oh, so there might be, a, maybe, maybe he's doing this because he wants, like, Villanova people to talk him out of it. Is he doing this for a pay raise? Like, it doesn't mm-hmm. feel like a Jay Wright move, but I don't know. People surprise you. Um, and then, like, 10 minutes later, I was like, yep, oh, there it is. Yeah. He's, uh, he's definitely retiring. I was shocked. You were shocked, I take it? I was shocked. Yeah. Okay. John Rostein said, Jay Wright told me he is going to retire <laughs> from the game of basketball, even though a video had just been posted with Jay Wright telling all of us. But, uh. Yeah, I mean, I was shocked. I, I, like I said, I had this like planted in my mind. It was incepted in my brain that it could happen. And then when I saw that, I was like, wow. So Jay Wright really was, like you said, he, he was just like, I'm done with this. I, I have seen That's... everything. I've seen the mountaintop twice. Mm-hmm. I have come back down. I have climbed back up again. And I look around and I say, who am I doing this for? My resume is set. I'm a hall. He just went in the Hall of Fame in 2021. You've checked all the boxes that you wanted to check. When he took over at Villanova, they hadn't been to a Sweet 16 since 1987. So it was something that, like, it wasn't. That's true. Yeah. So, I mean, the guy literally came in and was like, I know we're national champions. I know we're Villanova basketball, but let's shoot back up. And then, you know, takes him to, what, four Elite Eights, three Final Fours, you know, two national champions. You know, you start doing all the math. You're like, this guy made them. A blue blood, maybe lower ca- lowercase blue blood, but at the end of the day, they're in the conversation as a blue blood, and they used to be David versus Goliath when we had Georgetown take it on Villanova, and it's all because of Jay. Ray. My my initial reaction was he must love Colin Gillespie more than I. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I can't do it without Gillespie. I can't do it. I just can't do it. He, or or he hates- very similar to Psycho T Tyler Hansbrough because a lot of people were like yeah. Roy Williams. Can he coach again? Because yeah. without Tyler Hansborough, what is he? Or he hates Archie Giacchino. Uh, <laughs> not Ryan. Chris. He hates Chris Archie Giacchino. He's like, yes. you're the next little, one Little up. Arch. Yeah. He's like, you're next one up. I've seen you play enough. Uh, I can't do that. Not my tempo. <laughs> I got to get out of here. <laughs> um, no, my respect for Jay Wright could could uh, not be any higher for how he chose to go out, which is to say that he just, on a Wednesday, just let the, the news leak but, but th- then the question becomes uh if we're gonna talk about coach k a man who did respect his recruits does, does, does jay wright not respect his recruits Ooh, because he didn't give him a heads up mm-hmm. um but they're not five stars you know what i mean and they're not building generational wealth because right. that is what duke is providing these kids generational right. wealth um so maybe it's not the same stakes <laughs> so that's why jay wright did not actually not actually down the recruits. his recruits aren't real people uh-huh. because they're not five stars. exactly they don't matter yeah they don't yeah, um, they don't have that potential but for him to go out this way uh and and to be you know to, to be in the prime of his career i mean i i don't i don't think that's in in, in dispute is it that he was this this last five year stretch he's been on is, is no he the, literally left the game the high, on yeah on on well he, he he lost. I mean, yeah, but final four. But, but I know what you mean. Perceptive wise, you know what I mean. Like well, the, the second K retired, everyone's like, yeah, Jay Wright's Jay the Wright's best coach, coach in college, in basketball. college so basketball. So he left the game as the best coach in college basketball. And Kansas fans, I mean, they're gonna yell Bill Self from the mountaintops. And I think Bill Self now. Now he is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but to do it in a way that like like college basketball coaching and Mike Shashevsky taught us this. <laughs> Jim Beheim is going to continue teaching us this for the next 25 years. Um, it, 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 
it, it, Tom Izzo is teaching us this. Uh, not not that I'm calling for Tom Izzo to retire, but also at the same time, like there's 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 an idea as as fans, as uh, people that are that are really invested in this stuff, and you observe the way these guys behave. For Jay Wright to be like, I am extremely rich. I, I've I've done everything I need to do uh, to, to to prove to anybody that I can do this. Um, I the, the the timing is interesting, just in the sense that like, I I I don't know what exactly the motivations were behind. What was it? Just turning sixty, and you kind of have like that crisis of like, oh damn, that's uh that's older. That, that feels I think a lot older than fifty nine. I think there's some um, personal stuff too. That yeah, I think he's tending to. So I mean, I, I think it. I think it's more of life than basketball. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's it, 60, like basket. It seems like just a basketball decision, but it's a. Uh, a larger it, 60 still feels pretty young to me like that that was the part of it too it's like i i i, I don't the, the guy can make his own his own call and everything else but like if i would have for me like in, in observing this i i thought this is a uh something that maybe even if you're someone that's like i gotta find the work-life balance i gotta find i gotta explore other things in my life i don't want to be a guy who dies on the sideline i still feel like you retire when you're 65 or 66 or mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. So even then, even factoring that in, it still felt extremely early, which is why I think it was such a shock. Uh, and I'm a guy who has very openly and will continue to very openly let everybody know the second that I make millions of dollars, I am retiring. I don't care if it's next week or <laughs> in 40 years, whatever it is. When I have the financial means, I am done. I do not do this for the love of the game. I do this for money. I do this for fame. I do this for adoration. What are you, Ben Simmons? And, <laughs> <that's it. laughs> What's happening? and I do this for clout. And these are the only reasons I do this. So when I have all those things secure, I'm out. I'm out. Ben uh, 10. I'll see you in 10 years. Hey there, thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.